What's going on everybody? It's Kevin here with the G Free Show and today is Valentine's Day so to all you lovebirds out there, happy Valentine's Day. Um, enjoy your time with your significant other but uh, this is actually kind of a more negative note, uh, anti-Valentine's Day kind of thing. Uh, lately I've been seeing more babies and I mean more breakups than babies so um, definitely been a lot of singles out there and just kind of anti-Valentine's Day so I was doing or I was just kind of putting up some statuses like, you know, going to be filming a Valentine's Day episode, any ideas on, you know, what to do. I was going to just do it on candies or just kind of the usual, but uh, it sounds like everyone wanted gluten-free dating. Um, that's kind of the thing to talk about today. So, um, but first I wanted to quick thank and uh, say happy birthday to Kayla, aka Woodwinked X. Um, you can check out her YouTube channel just right here. I also have the link just right below. Um, on, on Friday she had done a really cool uh, vlog and shout out. And, um, yeah, she did a really cool shout-out for me. So, Kayla, thank you. I really do appreciate that. And, um, well, since your birthday falls on Valentine's Day, and it sounds like your viewers think you're probably 23 today. I don't know. So, um, you know, maybe we'll see. Who knows? But, um, quick, I just wanted to talk about, uh, see, Janine, she had sent me this message just kind of venting her frustrations with dating someone that's not gluten-free. And, you know, I'll kind of just go off of this and then, just add whatever little bit I think, but I thought this was pretty good. Um, so she put just three things. The first thing she said was, uh, on holidays or special occasions, just kind of, if the, you know your significant other is going to get you some candies or chocolates, whatever, how they have to know every little ingredient that you can't have, and then even when they do get you the, you know, whatever it is, then you still have to double check it. So it kind of removes that spontaneous aspect or you know that uh, surprise element to it, I guess. Um, so that kind of sucks, but. Um, you know, you just, these are the things that you do to be safe. Um, also, going to dinner. So she said, you know, obviously you guys are going to get hungry and want to go out to dinner. Well, then you either have this short list of, you know, gluten-free restaurants or you have this long list, but you have all these potential restaurants where you're probably going to get sick from. So it's like, well, you know, is it really worth it for that? And then especially if you do get sick and you go back to their place, well, that's a whole other shitty situation that you don't really want to have to deal with. Um, and then another thing is like... Uh, Oh, like educating them on these kind of things? Like, say it's a first date, you know, they ask you to try a bite of something. And at first you're like, oh, no, don't think, you know. Oh, no, really, try a bite. And then it's like, oh, no, seriously, you know. And then just kind of the whole thing back and forth. I've had that happen a million times. And it's like, no, I, I seriously, I can't have anything with gluten. And then they're like, oh, well, what's gluten? And it's like, well, it's, you know, anything with wheat, barley, oats, or rye. You know, see, I have celiac and I can't have this, you know. And so it's just this whole thing. And then, well, they might, as she said, it's like they might find you to be kind of whiny or you know, I guess kind of just this freak or, you know, whatever. It's just hypochondriac maybe. I don't know what people do think of those that are gluten-free or, you know, but it's just kind of this negative image, I guess, on that, and I just really don't like it. Um, but then, you know, some of the things that I was thinking about was, like, just if you do only date gluten-free, how large a percent of the population that you just completely cut out, you know, possible soulmates or, you know, your love your life, whatever you want to call that, I guess, it's just, um, you're excluding a whole nother group of people out there just because, you know, they're not gluten-free, and so, I mean, it's just such a, you know, kind of inner turmoil, I guess, on what you really want, um, I guess, you know, if you meet the right person that's not gluten-free initially, you guys are going to figure it out, um, so, I mean, it's not like you can't date someone that's not gluten-free, you know, I mean, it's just, you have a lot of things that you have to watch out for then. So if they're not going to be on a gluten-free diet or anything like that, then you have to watch on, you know, when you're kissing them, making sure that they're washing their hands after they're eating these kind of things. And, you know, just really, you got to worry about all these different things. And uh, it's just so much easier if the other person's gluten-free, really. Um, so, I mean, that kind of thing just sucks. But, yeah, so, um, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to get other people's input ideas on the whole Valentine's Day thing. Uh, if you're single, please do keep your chin up. I know that I'm going to probably be going out with the boys tonight. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of uh, Valentine's haters around here right now, so I think it should be just a, still a feet or decent night out to or out tonight. So uh, God, I cannot talk today. It's just kind of an off day, I guess. Uh, usually not a fan of Valentine's Day. I've only really celebrated like one year, um, and yeah, I don't really talk to my ex girlfriend a whole lot anymore. Uh, it was a pretty nasty breakup. So yeah. Um, yeah, that should be just about all I really wanted to talk about today. Just kind of a downer day, I guess. So, uh, sorry for the not uh, not so positive, you know, episode, but that doesn't always happen, I guess. So, 
All right, guys. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, the next episode I have here is uh, the Wallabies episode. I have a ton more stuff to actually read for you guys. I've got this pile right here. So I'll probably just split it up, two, two, and two. Um, so then probably do two of the crackers, two more of the crackers, um, which the rosemary and onion, that just sounds so good. I don't know. But then there's also the feta oregano and olive oil. I don't know. Um, and then also they have the mini crackers as well, classic cheese and grated parmesan. So I'm pretty excited to try these things out for you guys. And, um, yeah, that'll be all happening tomorrow then for you. So, all right, happy Valentine's Day, guys. Um, all right, take care.